I'm Silas Goldman, I'm 37 years old and uh, inducted for the Hall of Fame for uh, playing handball. I was a world champion back in the late 90s. I won multiple national titles. I won almost every division on the junior circuit, made the top 20 on the pro circuit. Uh, let's see, that was 98 to 2000, kind of a byproduct of all the handball community here in St. Louis. So handball involves the use of both hands, both sides of the body. And Silas is one of those guys who um, you could really not even distinguish his left hand from his right. He's that good. Um, and he's got what, what we like to call soft hands, meaning that anywhere in the court, he can flat kill the ball, roll the ball out, which means it's done, the point is over. So Silas is just one of those guys. So in St. Louis, uh, it's actually we're kind of the, at one point we were the mecca of handball. You know, you've got legacies going back to the 1940s with uh, Vic Hershwitz, Jim Jacobs, all the way up to the probably arguably the best player in history, Dave Chapman, all came through St. Louis. And it's, it's kind of a greatness propels greatness. And so the start of the trend, you know, way back there, right after World War II, and actually it was just part of the J when it was used to the uh, YMHA. Uh, all the great handball players used to come out here and, and try and get the comp local competition to play with them. And the talent level just kept getting up. And even when I came in uh, to play handball back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, we had a lot of uh, experienced players here, a lot of the veterans that kind of took you under their wing, taught you how to play and uh, it just breathes the greatness of players. And so we had a multi, probably about, I'd say about four guys that came out of St. Louis uh, that all of us went on to play at a competitive level. Um, Silas is a, a great soul. He's, he's a really big heart. At his very core, he's a teacher. So he's taught my kids. He's taught um, multiple uh, children around the J and all over the area. And he, he, you know, when he gets in there with the kids, he, um, he really knows his stuff. Uh, and the kids just love him, they just eat it up. In addition to being a great player, of course. And he is a great player. Uh, I do want to say thanks. Uh, thanks to the handball community here in St. Louis. Uh, I appreciate you know, the committee nominating me for this award and uh, giving me the chance to you know, continue the legacy of handball and be part of that elite community that's on the wall there at the J. Uh, but more importantly, the, the, the handball community here in St. Louis, uh, the people that have taught me how to play, who still play to this day, who are ambassadors for the game, and a special thank you to my family, my, my dad, my wife, and my kids for supporting me in all of my handball endeavors. I'm here today to be honored as the Jewish Hall of Fame. Claim to fame is baseball. I got to know not only Morty, but his family during my tenure and over the years and then subsequent to my um, uh, completing my career at Jewish Federation, I learned more and more about the athletic career of Morty Gelber um, in that ultimately precipitated me, who is a sports nut and pretty knowledgeable, to nominate Morty for his very justifiable uh, place in the St. Louis Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. When I was 13, just hitting the ball, and mom took me to Deerberg's. I went out for a core league team, and that's how it all started, Deerberg's core league team, and I just played baseball. And I went from one team to another team, to another team, and another team. I just kept playing ball, just loved to play ball. About five years ago, I became in possession of Morty's scrapbook that demonstrated that Morty Gelber was not just a one-trick pony as a baseball player, but he was two-sport all-state. Most athletes, myself included, would have been coveted to just be on their local, to make a major letter in their high school. But to be all-state from a relatively small school Horton Watkins would do, it's extraordinary. Started in Little League, then I went into minor leagues for a little bit, the minor leagues. Then I came home, they, they let me go. Then I started out in the semi-pro baseball league. And I played with various teams that my love was. Hoffmeister's semi-pro baseball team was the heiny miney. They were so good to me, being the only Jewish ball player on that team. And I got along great with everybody. I broke up a few no-hitters and uh, hit a few home runs. 
so that feels good. <laughs> I just love baseball. And I made it the Amateur Baseball Hall of Fame too with my ring in 1990. So now I got into the Jewish Hall of Fame, which is great, great honor. My name is Dr. Stacy Smith, and I was invited to come here because I have had the privilege of being um, inducted into the St. Louis Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. And I was a three-time United States ice dancing champion and a member of the 1980 United States Olympic team, which competed in Lake Placid, New York. We had cold winters, and my my parents actually made a uh, skating rink in our backyard for, for me, and I was very fortunate to have a world-class coach move to Cleveland when I was about 10, and I think were it not for that, I, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I am very proud of my mom. Uh, she is fully deserving of this award. Uh, for her accomplishments in skating and ice dancing. We were able to defend our national championship three times and that is a very, very difficult thing to do. And then of course at the end of that we um, represented the United States at the Olympics. It's, it's such a unique um, phenomenon to be amongst all these Olympians. It was uh, quite something to just be part of that. The word I would use to describe my mother uh, is fierce, competitor in sports, as uh, a physician in medicine, and also as a parent and a friend uh, and a colleague. And I know that she appreciates the recognition for uh, these efforts and pursuits that have been done with such uh, with such grace and dignity. Well, certainly I'd like to thank the committee for the honor. And uh, I want to thank, well, mostly my husband. My husband has just been, you know, a, always, always a great support to me. And then I also want to thank my congregation. That I've really had, in, apart from my family, I've had two loves in my life, which is uh, skating and then psychiatry. I think being an, an Olympian was really the greatest honor of my life, but the greatest privilege of my life has been doing medicine and psychiatry. My name is Aaron Vicker. I played ice hockey and the, the culmination of my career was in the American Hockey League, which is the AAA level, right below the NHL. As a kid, he, you know, he just sort of took to the game. We had um, outside our garage in our first house, he put up tape, like a little goalie sign, and he would want me to take soccer balls, and he'd say, shoot on me, Daddy. And I would try to, you know, shoot on him as it was from, he was four or five years old. He started skating with a little chair, and before you know it, he took to it. So, growing up in St. Louis at the time, uh, it wasn't such a hockey hotbed, and so you had to take the time to promote yourself and get out. So there were a number of events that happened, and then, you know, you follow his career from high school to after high school to University of North Dakota, where he got his ring, and then to Lake Forest. In North Dakota, he organized the Jewish college students. North Dakota does not have a huge Jewish population, so I was very proud of him. Off the ice, he has generated so much respect for himself, the way he carries himself, his sportsmanship. He's, he's really a genuinely decent man off the ice, and he sometimes you wouldn't know whether he had won or lost because his demeanor was the same. He got most of the awards for leadership that usually went to forwards. He got the, I think it was called the Taylor Award for Sportsmanship, the one who most exemplifies leadership. So from North Dakota, I then, uh, the summer after that, was fortunate enough to have been chosen to play for Team USA in the Maccabiah Games in Israel. It was the first time they had ice hockey, 
And so I played for Team USA, I was the goalie for them. And we won a silver medal, which was pretty, pretty exciting. And actually I, I was able, even though we won the silver, I actually won the top goaltender of the tournament award, which was pretty fun as well. But even though this one's more about me on the wall, if you will, this is a culmination of everybody that's close to me here at home.